Hello everybody, welcome to this chapter of Authors Unplugged. I'm Rachel Ferris. Yes you are, because I'm Lauren Rainey. Rachel, we really have a treat for everyone today. Well, treats are always a good thing. Alright, today we get to take a look behind the scenes and into the real world of high-end retail shopping. Now for most people, fashion goes as far as what's hanging on the rack at the department store in the mall. But there really is a completely different side to the retail industry. Right, and that's a world that our guest today, Darlene Quinn, knows all too well. Darlene is the author of the award-winning series, Webs of Power, Twisted Webs, Webs of Fate, and the soon-to-be-released Unpredictable Webs. Darlene, it really is such a treat to have you here today. It's a pleasure to be here. Before we get rocking and rolling, we want to congratulate you on receiving the Reader's Favorite Award for Webs of Fate. Thank you, Rachel. I just returned from Miami. Uh, Webs of Fate was the winner of the 2011 General Fiction Award. So it was very exciting on my book launch to have a big seal on my book cover. And also, Webs of Fate was my first book to go into audiobook. It was great to hear my characters talking. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Well, let's catch up for anyone who hasn't had the chance to read any of your incredible books. There are currently three books in the web series, but they are all actually standalone books, too. Yes, they are. I can't ask readers to go out and buy the book that came before. And what I write is page turning fiction based on real events. I write what's called faction, character driven novels based on real events. And I write in bite-sized chapters so that people can put it down at any time. But my complaints from my readers is I keep them up all night going two or three more pages or two or three more pages. I love that. <laughs> okay, well, I want to get into the backstory a little, if that's okay. Sure. Your novels are full of suspense and intrigue and betrayal. What inspired you to write this? I mean, where on earth did you come up with the storyline? Well, actually, there are storylines all over the place, but living in the world of retail, there are so many stories going on. There are so many fascinating personalities. And what I found is to write fiction, I had to tone my characters down to make them believable. So you actually lived in the world of this story? Yes, I was on the management team for the Bullock's Wilshire stores, and they were the specialty store division of Bullock's department stores, one of the largest federated department stores. And on Fridays we'd have management meetings and I was one of the few uh, people on the management team that was not a merchant. And it was hitting, it was at the time that uh, the business of America became the taking over of businesses. There were leverage buyouts, hostile takeovers. During that time we started seeing things like midnight sales, Sunday sales, and we got into this whole sales environment. We've sort of trained customers at this point not to pay full price. If you walk into the store and something has been marked down 70%, what is it really worth? And right now the status symbol is not anything more than how much did you save? That's so true. I mean, nowadays it's all about price matching and coupons. It's amazing. What? Do you mean it? No, no. It's just that when I'm clothes shopping, I never think about everything that goes on behind the scenes. Mm hmm That's probably not all you don't think about when you're clothes shopping. Oh, that's, that's really nice. Darling, let's get back to the story. So, did you always plan for this to be a series, or did that just kind of happen along the way? Well, I did not know that I was writing a series. I just thought if I wrote a novel, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> However, I had these characters that just kept going on and on. For Webs of Power, it was easy because of uh, I, the background of the book. Not the story, but the background of Webs of Power. There were all kinds of power lines going through. And so webs of power just seemed natural for me. Then going on when it became a series because these characters were became like family that I wasn't willing to let go of, I wrote the next book and it became a very twisted story, more twisted than I knew. And I thought, I need a brand name. I think I had just read uh, John Sanford's Prey series. And I thought, webs, that would be a good brand. And so that's, they went from there. 
It's a great brand, and they're actually easy reads, but I'm sure they weren't as easy to write. What was the hardest part about writing these books? I think probably the hardest part about writing is just the discipline of sitting yourself in that chair and stay, staring at a blank computer screen. Sure. However, ideas are everywhere. And I'm never short of ideas, it's just honing those ideas and making them fit. Uh, one thing that helped me when I was with the department store division as corporate training director, I taught time management. And I'm very good, I can tell you how to manage your time. I don't always follow my own advice. I, I can never do that. Everything distracts me. And again, I will pass on the gratuitous Rachel punchline. And it's probably actually time for a short break. We'll be back with more Authors Unplugged and our guest Darlene Quinn right after this.